Today I'll show you a very fun idea to try in a game. Um, it works best when you play against beginners or people who um, just generally uh, aren't as developed in their chess in their chess uh, career. Um, that being said, there are people who just blank sometimes, and it's just it's just a good way if you start your game like this to gauge how uh, good your opponent is. Anyways, we'll get right into it. Uh, you're going to start with uh, e4, um, and for a normal game, it's not my favorite opening. I prefer the London, uh, and you can press it right above, uh, above. but um, anyways, this is uh, the, the way that you kind of see if, if they can play. A uh, very, very common response is that e5 uh, a move, but you can play with, with uh, quite some moves, which is the reason that I'm showing it. It's not something where... Uh, it's it's not something where black has to be on your side. Uh, you know, black can can play some smart moves, but just miss it. Um, now you're gonna move out your queen. Uh, you have two options. You can either move your queen there, um, and and this is best. Uh, I'll I'll tell you when to do which. Um, when they move e5, I would move your queen here. Okay. Uh, obviously, now it's it's a pretty. I mean, it's it's not. They won't. They don't necessarily suspect anything yet because you're obviously targeting this pawn. So you know, maybe they think that you're just trying to trying to get this pawn. Uh, so a response for them would be knight to uh, c6, protecting the pawn. Uh, and and still not necessarily anything out of the ordinary. Uh, c4, developing a bishop into a nice square. I guess right. It's not necessarily anything. Um, that black should be worried about. It, it's not anything out of the ordinary. Um, only here they have to be careful because if they play knight to uh, f6, which is a very common move, well, it is a common move, but it's not a good move because that's checkmate. Um, so even though... As black, um, it, it wasn't necessarily a bad, a bad beginning. They uh, moved out with the most common response, protected their pawn, started developing their other knight, and uh, checkmate. It's very kind of out of the the ordinary. So we're, I'm going to show you two lines. That was the first one. The second one, which I uh, prefer to play, if they decide to do something else. So if they do uh, e4. I prefer, uh, if, if I do e4 and they do uh, either with the knight or uh, if they try the Sicilian, uh, which is very common as well. If you don't know what that is, I'll, I'll show a link. It's, it's, in my opinion, the best move as black. Um, if they try that, what you can now do is maybe move, is move your queen here. You can still, if you want, move your queen here. Um, and it, the problem with that is um, because they they don't have a piece right here that's unprotected they have this piece right here so to protect it they could uh, they could protect this piece in, in other ways they could even just move it forward one so it's less of a trouble for them um, so I would not go there instead I would go here uh, if your bishop is, uh, I don't know, so they play this for a second, and we'll fix this in a second, but if your bishop is here, you still have the same idea of uh, checkmate in, in, in the next move if they don't move their pawn up or move their horse or their queen, even. Um, yeah, so, but but this is not necessarily a move that they'll probably play. In the Sicilian, you're most likely going to play this d6, which is great, because um, th the reason is because the Sicilian has a very straightforward line so it's very rare that in the Sicilian your second move is this knight move uh, it's very rare that this is your second move too so for the most part you can be sure that they're probably either gonna play this or this let's say they play this which is very common you now move c4 um, and they play this which is just as common um, with hopes maybe of moving your their their uh, their uh, Actually, let me quickly rephrase that. If they decide to go here to try to target the queen, well, checkmate. 
if they move out this pawn. Checkmate. If they move out the pawn for two, that's very, very weird because, I mean, you take and you have a pawn. And, and the great thing about this mate or this attempted mate is if you do not get the mate in the end, you're for the most part still going to have a good development so you can still continue the game. Um, with the, with, it's, it's an interesting line, but um, I think you're, you're better off than black in, in both lines that I showed you. Uh, and obviously, that's mate next move pretty much no matter what they play. Because again, this is rare and this is uh, just as rare. So, yeah, uh, that, that's a very, very uh, easy to do. Uh, even you can trick some um, higher rated players sometimes. Uh, and, and I would just, if, if you know you're getting bored of the London or something like that, just try it once every couple of games, see if your opponent, and once again, if it doesn't work out for you, like they play this, for example, um, well, you can still continue developing and uh, have have some uh, ideas in mind, and, uh, and and the game's not over, which is, it's, it's not an all or nothing situation, which is great, so hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, all the videos and, and openings I mentioned will be in the description. Check them out. Subscribe to my channel for more of these tips, tricks, and uh, uh, games that I'll show you. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.